Hello and welcome back to Denmark here in the Crusader Kings 2 with the Historical Immersion Project mod. And when we ended last time, our vassals were just getting a bit restless about our, our long-ish period of peace. So we were looking for somebody else to go to war with. Um, so another option, I suppose, would be to try and get a claimant on Jorvik. There is a female claimant who would accept our invitation, but of course we can't grant her any land, so that's not really useful to us. Um, any of these people? Uh, he's not too far off. Um, three. The same. We definitely won't. Uh, well, we could try one of these guys. Send him a gift, and he will indeed come. Uh, okay. Somebody needs a guardian, my granddaughter who is having stomach aches. Oh. Um, let's get her educated. Sure. It doesn't give us opinion, so it doesn't really matter who. Okay, he's arrived. And I did remember to check, and it's a weak claim. So, let's only work him with special interest and not actually give him any land. And it looks like his heir is an adult male, so we may not be able to actually do anything with that just yet. This plot still looks no closer to firing. We could get the Spymaster on board. He's so good. Um, he looks pretty close. Did we? Is he the one we already sent a gift to? Yeah. Well. Um, let's see, we have claim wars on, or claim CVs on him. This is still, this is Norway up here, is it not? Yeah. We could always attack some Christians. We could take the, uh, the holy site from West Francia if we're interested in fighting all of the Carlings. I assume we're still Carlings down here, yeah. Still Carlings. Let's just check the dynasty map mode. Yep, Carlings all over. Hmm. Um. How strong are you? 8,000. There's always raiding, of course. We could just do that. It has been a while. Lots of rich potential counties. Hmm. Or we could try and assassinate this man. Maybe that's an idea. What chances do we have? Only an 18%. Yeah. Well, we can probably afford one attempt. Mm, our Spymaster is not even very good, though. Um, we only increase 7%. Mm, it's probably not worth trying. But, you know, it could probably be fun. Where is he? Bester Sjaland. Hmm. Okay, we'll try it one time. We're not going to be doing any save scumming, so it's... This is the one chance. 28% chance. 
They failed to slay him, but my involvement remains unknown. Could try a second time. But this money could be so much better spent on castles. Okay, well, we'll just leave it at that. You escaped this time, but you'll die eventually. So, um, it is going to be a few years before we can attack Norway, so I guess we're just, uh, we're just going to go raiding then. Unless we want to pay 2,000 prestige, which we could do. It's not a huge deal. Hmm. No, we'll just go raiding. It's fine. Alright, you guys head down here. Um, we'll just raise a few vassal levies. We don't need to take everyone. You, you. That'll probably do for the moment. Speed four while we gather everyone together. It's going to take you a while. Sometimes it's easier to lie than to hurt people with a truth. With, with a truth. I lose the trait. Trait honest. Okay. I'm probably. About to gain the old age uh, thing as well, which will put me at somewhat greater risk of dying. A frail robed man is led into your throne room, and your guards explain that he just arrived on a ship coming from Miklagard. The man would only speak your name over and over again, so he's brought to you to your horror. You recognize him at last as Kaiser Sigurdur. Okay, so our heir has been blinded. But not, it seems, castrated? Okay. Uh, oh no, he does gain the trait Eunuch and Varangian. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. So, he has minus 10,000% fertility. But the good news is that this health penalty might make him die sooner? He also already has a child, so... We're, we're not totally screwed if he, uh, if we do end up playing as him. But yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I knew the risks when I sent him to the Varangians, so really there's nobody to blame but myself. Okay, we'll take these. Okay, still waiting on the retinue. Uh, maybe we'll just raise a few more troops. I mean, I really don't mind too much because um, we're at the stage where we can pretty much beat everyone around us in a war, so gotta make the game interesting somehow. Why not by having your son and heir? blinded and castrated. Okay, we'll just put these into four and raise up the boats. Needs... is it a hundred boats? Uh, sure. Town is built. Somebody died of gluttony. So they can't quite fit on here, I believe. Let's also not forget to do this. Uh, oh. Need 
quite a few more boats. Oh, actually, I just need to merge these. Uh, they will fit on the boats. Alright. Um, yeah, let's, let's head, I don't know, uh, where was Rich? South of England is pretty good. Brittany probably can't defend themselves very well. Ireland quite poor, but also probably can't defend themselves. Let's head to Brittany for now. Claim. Well, we don't need that because we now own that land, I believe. Yeah, let it go. No, I'm not going to sing the song. Um, we'll send him somewhere else, I suppose. Uh, see if you can get a duchy claim somewhere else that would be helpful for us. Over here, why not? Um, you guys would be, he would be a better marshal. Yep, he is not wrong, but it's not happening. Smallpox, okay. I assume Brittany is not in a position to repel us here. Well, they have three and a half thousand, but they can't raise troops from these counties, and my courtier died of gonorrhea. All right. Sucks to be him, I guess. So if they could get their whole 3,000 together, they might attack one of these stacks, but we could reinforce it easily enough. Uh, invite to plot. We'd like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the Yarldom of Mercy. Uh, Muri. Muri? No, I did, I'm not going to back that. In fact, why don't you just stop doing that? Thank you. Okay, we won that siege. Uh, despite your best efforts, you have thus far been cheated of a glorious death in battle. Sadly, you no longer have the endurance or constitution necessary to sustain your berserker rage. Perhaps such things are best left for the youth. Perhaps indeed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we got 50 gold. Nice. Okay. Another siege. Another grandchild. A really good grandchild. Needs an education. Um, pretty sure this grandson is going to turn out being irrelevant. He's, uh, I think, the son of my second son. You know what, I'll just, I'll educate him myself. Why not? Uh, you can just be educated by a random person, though. Sure. Um, okay, prisoners. Prisoners and booty. This will also help us um, amass a large amount of gold for eventual title creation. So that's good. Nice. 50 gold at a time from some of these guys. It's pretty good. There are these little islands up here. I don't remember seeing those. So the Channel Isles. Owned by... Inizi Moor Bredge. Whatever that is. Alright. Okay. Um, a strange looking key made of an unknown metal. You have only seen such a metal once before. The mysterious chest that has been inherited and passed along in your family. 
I had forgotten about this chest. It's still gathering dust somewhere in your chambers. Could this be the key that opens it? I don't think I've ever seen this event before, though I've seen the chest one. Let's find out. The key fits the lock, and trembling with anticipation, you slowly open the chest. Sadly, it is filled, but nothing, filled with nothing but worthless baubles and various trinkets. There is not a trace of gold to be found here, but the contents of the chest could probably be traded away for a few coins at least. Ten gold. Okay. I wonder if that has multiple possible outcomes, some of which are more exciting. The prisoner is complaining about her dark cell. Well, we all know what she can do. And we've been studying alchemy recently for the sole purpose of learning everything you can about poisons. Okay, you gain one intrigue. It dawns on you one day that there is plenty of intrigue happening right under your nose. Your servants, from the kitchen maids to the stable boys, share juicy gossip with each other. Uh, yeah, we can dive in and join. Let's do that. Okay, so we've pretty much fully looted all these counties. Um, let's get back on the boats. Um, why don't we head to England? Pretty sure none of these people can really put up a fight either. Uh, can we actually loot that from here? I'm not sure. Anyway. Go there. And... There, I suppose. And we can hold a great blot, which we will do as soon as we return from this looting expedition, I suppose. Taking part in the gossip sessions of my servants has proved enlightening. Gain two intrigue. So we're up to nine intrigue, which should fulfill our ambition. Excellent. What do we have? Get married, improve learning, or convert a province. Um, yeah, I think we learned that that doesn't actually increase our chances of converting provinces that we're going to convert, so... Since we have a very low chance, there doesn't seem much point in doing it. Uh, so let's try and improve learning. Although we will probably be dead soon. So, what's the point of anything? It's kind of a pessimistic worldview, I suppose. Okay, we just got attacked down here. Go ahead and try and reinforce that. Took a river crossing. Okay, no problem. Okay, and we cornered a mayor and killed him. That will teach you to get elected, I suppose. Uh, let's just leave then. My grandson Nud is turning into an arrogant little braggart. Okay, um, try and make him humble. Okay, so we're we're mostly full on gold here, so we can just head home. Measles, all right. Gold and prestige. And we lower the fleets. Okay, great. Well, um, we'll leave it there for now. Next time we should be able to hold a blot uh, at the right time of year. Well, okay, soon we'll be able to hold a blot. So uh, come back next time for that, and thanks for watching.